Senator Bernie Sanders is angry, and rightfully so. Uh, this week, 13 Senate Democrats voted against an amendment put forward by Bernie Sanders that would have allowed the importation of cheaper drugs from Canada. Uh, we've discussed that. But today, Bernie Sanders is out there, and he is calling out these corporate uh, big pharma Democrats for voting against something that not only did he get uh, bipartisan Republican support for, it's something that Donald Trump supports, and it's something that the majority of American citizens support. Bernie Sanders understood that. He knew that this is what the people wanted, but more importantly, he knew it's what the people needed. But these 13 corporate Democrats, led by Cory Booker, decided that it was better to side with Big Pharma rather than American patients and consumers. And here's the thing, Cory Booker is the uh, number three recipient of money from Big Pharma uh, in the last two years, and he's only been in the Senate for two years. Number three recipient, he's from New Jersey, that's where a lot of the uh, pharmaceuticals in the United States are made, so obviously he wants to protect the interest of American pharmaceutical companies rather than the interests of American consumers. A lot of people have said that Cory Booker is a rising star in the Democratic Party. And if that is the case, then you better get ready for eight years of Donald Trump's presidency because it proves that the Democrats learned absolutely nothing, which shouldn't be surprising. After the 2014 midterm elections, the Democrats had very clear data that showed that corporate Democrats lost overwhelmingly but at the same time, progressive ballot initiatives passed overwhelmingly. Anytime a Democrat appeared to be a little bit trying to play both sides, they lost. That's what happened in 2016 with Hillary Clinton trying to play nice with the big banks while at the same time trying to speak like a populist. Neither side ended up buying into her arguments there. And sure, you can argue there's other factors. I honest to God don't care anymore. She was a corporate Democrat Cory Booker is a corporate Democrat, and these 12 other senators are all corporate Democrats. They have to go. And it's a good thing that Bernie Sanders is out there naming names and calling these people out, because that's what we're going to have to do for the next four years if we want to save the Democratic Party, if it's even worth saving at this point. We need honest, progressive uh, uh, senators, representatives, and politicians right now. We do not need anyone who is pro-corporate, anti-consumer up there calling the shots from Washington, D.C., far removed from their constituents who they have completely lost touch with. This isn't a partisan issue at this point. This is about protecting American consumers and the American economy. To hell with American corporations. They're doing just fine. We can pass all the regulations, all the laws we want, and they are still going to make huge profits. We don't need to worry about that anymore. We need to worry about the people who can't afford their prescription medications. We need to worry about the people who are having to work two minimum wage jobs and are still living in poverty. That's who we need to worry about in this country. And that's what Bernie Sanders understands. Uh, unfortunately, it's what several Republicans who voted with Bernie Sanders understood. Now, I'm sure they had ulterior motives for supporting this legislation but at least they had enough sense to support it. Bernie Sanders is doing the right thing right now, and it's something that all of us need to do for the next four years. When a Democrat screws up and sides with a corporation over the American public, we're gonna call them out, name the names, and follow the money. And they're not gonna be happy about that.